We want to get you the latest now on this deadly heat wave across the south. It is threatening to break all-time records for 100-degree temperatures. We're talking 115 yesterday in Fort Smith, Arkansas, nearly as hot in Dallas, where we find Marisol Castro this morning. Marty, good morning. Probably nice that the sun's not up yet for you. Oh my gosh, I know, Erica. Good morning to you. Good morning, everyone else. Because the sun's not up, it happens to be a little bit cooler. Uh, Dallas is approaching its 34th consecutive day of triple digit heat that could shatter a record set back in 1980. It's re been responsible for at least two dozen deaths. The heat wave has taxed energy grids across the region. It has exacerbated the drought here in northern Texas. But still, we managed to find a few people that know how to thrive despite the scorching heat. It's the soul of nearly every town in this state, high school football. But even pure souls are tested, and these athletes know it well. Every sprint, tackle, and pass executed under 112 degree heat. There is no cloud cover, there is no breeze. And while it's only the third day of practice, residents of Dallas, Texas have suffered through triple digit heat for 33 days straight. Heat that's buckled roads and put energy companies on higher alert throughout the region. And for Daniel Perez and Robert Morales, both 16 years old, the four hours of practice is a test in tenacity. I have the objective in my head and just you know, stay focused on yeah. what, I'm, what I have to do so I don't think about this heat. One, two, three, Radiation! But this is just the beginning. For when everyone else walks off the field into the cool air of the field house, both Daniel and Robert don't get a break. Instead, they go to work, outside. Daniel swaps his pleats for a cooler, his helmet for a sledgehammer. The temperature holds steady at 112 degrees in the shade. He works for four hours straight just like he did in the morning, but there is no coach giving him a mandatory rest or water break. You would prefer to work outside? Honestly, yes, I would. And why is that? It'll help me during football. If I can, if I can do all of this, I, when I go on the football field, I can work just as hard without yeah. stopping, without thinking about the heat. Across town, Robert has traded in his playbook for flyers. And while they may not be as menacing as linebackers he faced this morning on the field, the 1 p.m. sun is punishing enough. What do you get more excited about, your job or football? Probably football. Even in the heat? Yep. And why are they working so hard in the scorching sun? For every teenager's dream, a new car.